were talking to him that he's got a notebook for this weekend on who is who and who does what yeah. and just things to watch out for for each individual player. And as we are seeing, he does bring out the Lucario. Yeah, exactly. Just what I was expecting. So something's going on back there. I've got flaps going on. Could have been an upset. All right. So, anyways, um, so. Okay, so like I said, I'm pretty sure Lucario does win this matchup just because his pretty neutral and the combination of things like Bone Rush and all kinds of things help him close the gap pretty, pretty easily. We also have the uh, really strong neutral that comes from Lucario players, whereas Darkrai's neutral in this matchup is not going to be nearly as good. Actius getting some damage in, putting Jin back away where he wants him to be. I got some Hail. Jumps oh, go to jump in, be a little aggressive. Oh no, he did go for the cancelled blizzard, but unfortunately he was stuck before his shield back to come out. Yeah. Not a blizzard, but hydro pump. Mm -hmm. Right, so, ooh, nice confirm right there off the frog here. Nice adaptation. Getting plus here in the corner. Actually, being very careful. Jin just playing on the action now. He's sitting in a really good range where he could react to anything. The only thing he could have gotten to was, was like, um, 5x. Oh goodness. Oh, this is a big juggle going on right here. Straight to the bone rush. Oh my god, so I was much damage. about to say, up until this point, we haven't really seen any big hits in the players. It was just a lot of praise in the neutral game for smaller damage, but now that Jin's got that one big hit and his burst attack, it's not quite the round, but it's pretty close. I think Jin's just realized that Actius is just as scared as he was as he, as he was kind of starting this off. So I think he's really taking advantage of that now and going very, very aggressive now. Getting to Actius' head, getting that nice punish. We had the 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 feelers from both players, and now Jin seems like he's he's felt it and he's ready. Jin is definitely taking the role of the aggressor right now, going straight in. Some oh my gosh, on the movement. hits. All right, so oh, this is huge. Actually, we actually just saw Actius just barely drop shield in time so that he can hold that stick of butter. Yeah. He had enough life to just not care about taking the hit from that fully charged. Uh, Attack. Yeah, and I, I think that's definitely a good choice because your your burst is a powerful asset. But he's using it to back Jin back into the corner, but really not able to get any pressure going. Oh my god, nice use of his exhaust strength right there, being out of the situation. All right, Jin though. Oh, oh my god. Coat coming in against the frog and deer. I can tell Jin was baiting that out, just didn't quite jump at the right time. Right, For so, sure. Oh my god, Jin is just on top of him right now. With him wasting this burst attack, it is going to be a slightly more tolerable situation, but burst armor is huge. Oh my god, Jin just keeping himself plus in all those situations, finally getting the grab. Okay, Actis is in a really, really rough position right now. And what's gonna happen? Oh my god, he just faded that out right going there. Going for the homing attack, but running straight into the counters. God, yeah. So he, uh, I can tell Jin is just getting in his head right now. He is intimidating him so much. No, someone did not reset the scores. Ah. So for those who might be confused, it is game. That was game one going to Jin. Mm -hmm. It is not 3-0. We just have a game yeah. one going to Jin. Yes. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> I blame Nickel Cat. He was sitting at the setup. Yep. Blame him. All right. That's what we usually do in Michigan anyway. We blame Nickel Cat. We just blame Nickel Cat. Does he deserve it? We like to think so. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. That's I, fair. I won't answer yes or no, but I will answer that we like to think yeah. so. <laughs> fair enough. So we're seeing no character switches here, and it looks like the same support set from at least Jin. I don't think I saw a character select screen, so I believe we're at the same support set from Actius as well. Um. I believe so. I don't, I don't remember him actually pulling out the umbrella last time. No, I just didn't get the opportunity to. I didn't see any support calls. Yeah, I don't, him, so I don't it remember. It's hard to say. Right, but yeah, he's taking his frog of deer. Actually, is actually taking a much more aggressive role right now. Oh, and an amazing cancel. Not only aggressive, but, but very uh, loving yeah. approach as well. Yeah. Because he's just walking up and hugging Jin <laughs> to give, death. Give him a good hug, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, Actu is definitely much more confident this time around. Hoping to try and get some sort of um, damage against him. Oh my god, nice game. How that string. Alright, Acti is definitely taking a much more aggressive role, being much more confident in his play. Jim is a really, really tough situation right now. This is a much different scenario from what we were seeing in game one, where we had a lot of feelers and then he just went in and just went ham, but now. Actius is going nuts. Okay, and that's always gonna be big. So I just wanna talk about it real quick. Jin is 
keeping his um, placement really, really important. You see, keeping himself in the path mid range, where he's not in any fear of, like, say, um, 8Y um, or all, any of, like, student's fast attacks. The only thing that can again is, like, high back right now, because he in that range, he can still pause the ball back. So he's keeping himself in a really, really nice situation. Oh my oh god! Oh my goodness! I was Damn. about to say you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And then we had this situation where he just went straight mm -hmm. into a burst sweep. Yeah, he took a risk. He really had did not have to do right there. All right. Yeah, Frog, you're coming out now. Yep, there we go. That's a nice set. This grab is going to give Jin a full synergy meter. Oh he doesn't God. care. He wants. To, he doesn't care to be in field phase. So we do have the, the Umbreon is online right now. So he might want to be thinking about using that. There yeah, it is. That, that is going to catch the. Oh, it looks like it only. Yeah, he's actually able to shield in time. Nice reaction there. Yeah. All right. He's getting some momentum going again. Two X to get some spacing going. Jin definitely trying to be more aggressive. See how he's like stopping right in place with the 5x is? Yup. Because he doesn't yep, have yep. to fear the 5x too much. He can just shield that. It's no chip. But if you have access to the attack button, you just bone rush in and get him. We just saw a very great use of CADC coming out from Jin. He CADC'd the, uh, the Icy Wind to the side and then just immediately used bone oh rush my because God. he was at that range. Agius grabbing with minus. What a god. Absolutely no fear. No fear. He realized that he was had too much fear in the last game, but he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do whatever my heart says to do. See what happens. All right, and Jim though getting some nice optimal oh, damage wow. going on here. That was a full corner carry. He Wait, could have ended that. Is he out? He's out of there. Okay, he's out of there. Oh. Actius, oh no, not able to get his. If Actius gets a phase shift right here, it'll be huge for him because it might give him just enough butter to burst. Oh, and Jin knew that he was not gonna let him get anything right there. I think he actually perfect walked the first hit. That was why he was able to counter right there. That was actually an amazing, amazing thought process by Jin right there. All right. Ooh, we had a we slight trade, trade there. I feel like that was a missed input. There's like some weird input going on right there. Both uh, players sitting on burst. Very important. Ooh, okay, gets the extreme speed, get into that situation. Okay, in the nice four wise. Jin in, putting some pressure and trying to make Jin do an option, and he picked a really good option to do. Unfortunately, Actus was looking to see Jin staying a little bit farther back, and his he water perfect didn't work. Him. Oh my god, Jin's perfect blocks are so on point right now. Something to note, we have Actius in burst now. And he is going to run out of meter first, and Jin doesn't care. He's waiting. He's got that whole meter. He's got that intimidation factor. Like he's like, you come to me. I'm not. I'm waiting out here outside of your first range. I'm not gonna care. And now he's going straight in. Right. Into the nice. What's he going on here? Ooh, that's that set's gonna be really strong. And look for a grab on first Lucario. All right now. Is Lucario What's he doing? Why oh he, no! Why did he approach? He should have just waited it out! But it worked, I guess! <laughs> oh, Lucario stopped out of his burst attack and acted oh, coming out Oh, this is big! Top. Oh, not yet! Back up! No, no! Back up! Back up! What are you doing? Play a little safer! Oh no! This is big! This grab isn't gonna do it, but we're both really low oh, and God. he is going to be the end! He's going in for an unblockable setup! Both players oh, playing no, extremely soon. Snags it! Oh my Sniping god! Sniping it with the stuffing. Okay, so of I'm this counter attack. I'm gonna go over some things right here. Actius did not have to be the aggressor when he started in that uh, in that situation. He should have just run. He just needs to run away and create space. But he kept going in against Jin, trying to stuff it out. But he had only like 10 seconds to burn. He could have easily just kept running away and stall out. But he kept being aggressive, and Jin capitalized on that. He definitely did.